everybody. All right, the misconception about the wrist snap. So I got a whip with me. Uh, essentially, what's explained to you sometimes is is that you want to have a wrist snap at the end of your serve, right? And that it works like a whip. And uh, yes, if it works like a whip, that means that we should be setting the big, thick part in motion in order to get the tip to really whip, right? Well, the way it's very often explained is to, to just grab the tip of the whip and go ee, ee. just snap the wrist, snap the wrist. When in reality, the reason it snaps is because set everything in motion, coils up, coils up, coils up. Right here, I try to hold everything else at the very end. So now what's ha what has a lot of speed is your wrist, and it goes boom. That's where you end up feeling a wrist snap. You're not actually trying to just snap your wrist. It's because you're stopping other body parts right there. All right, so it's, uh, it's holding back against the motion that lets your wrist snap. So if you've been doing this, you didn't get any power, Let's try the new way. Set it in motion, hold your body, and let your wrist snap. Don't force it, all right? I hope we can help, help somebody. Have a great tennis day, guys.